Hello, everybody. So, you know how budget collectors always complain about how careful they have to be with every dollar and they don't do stupid things like rip packs or buy into breaks? Well, check this out. Eddie! Eddie, thank you for your purchase. What would you like to do? Two thirty-five. One, two, three, and one, two, three, four, and five. All right, let's get some energy. Come on, let's find something. Oh, there we go. How about that? We found a card. First pull. Where do you get this card for nine bucks? Somebody just missed out on this card for a dollar? Is that what happened? Yeah, I mean, come on. This is what we needed. We needed the energy to come back, though. Yes, indeed. That was yours truly that won that 60 tops maze. It's in this envelope. I have not seen it in person yet. It's a little hard to gather from these videos, especially that guy had trouble getting his camera to focus exactly what the condition is. But for essentially $9, I got that maze. And if it's as good as it looks, it's going off to SGC. And because Tops hated Willie Mays, um, and I don't like that card because he's making a weird face like he is on almost every card, um, I'll probably flip it for a maze that I would like if there's enough meat on the bone, as it were. Now, there's a couple other things here. So I felt so guilty about winning the maze. I bought another spot in the set break, the 60 top set break, set break. And one of the other ones was a Clem Labine. And they're really sharp cards. If the maze looks like this Clem Labine, I'm a happy guy. Uh, so it should be this other one. And there was also a pack which was uh, like big league. So then you're really throwing your money away. But I sort of felt like I owed it to the guy to buy a little bit more because all total here is like less than 30 bucks to my door. So here is the maze. I'm just going to give it a primary glance. I tell you what, it is a pretty nice card. Yes, there are some centering issues. But the corners are fairly sharp. I want to say, yeah, this one here is probably the worst corner. And hopefully this is clear enough for you to see. Uh, the back is clean. There's no um, paper loss, no snowing, none of that. Uh, if I could get a five out of this, uh, I think it would be worth getting it off to SGC and uh, seeing if I can do some flipping, buy a, a maze for my 64 set, kind of a beater because it's going in a binder, and then kind of something you know, a, a maze I would like. I like the all-star card from that year. That looks great. But that one just doesn't do it for me. Uh, do your maze face. Anyway, not his fault. You know, I was just up late and I had a couple dollars in my account and I'm like, what the heck, you know? And I hit that maze first and I was like, and I, I knew if I kept buying it, there wasn't going to be anything more like that. Of course, I knew that. But um, this guy, most of, these, most of the spots were going for eight bucks before shipping and um, there was only maybe 10, 12 people in the room and there's really only three of us like bidding at all. So I'm like, yeah, hey, I threw a couple and got the Clem Labine and, and the pack and, uh, really happy with that. So let me know what you think, uh, grade wise. Could that, could that, could that five out? Uh, boy, there's nothing, um, I mean, other than what you've seen, the corners are, yeah, touched, but there's nothing obvious about it that's like, whoa, this, you know, there's a major problem here. So let me know uh, what you think. How did I do? Not too shabby, huh? Until next time, remember, we don't count subscribers, we count friends.